HIV, AIDS, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, attacks the immune system, weakening the body's ability to fight infections and diseases. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is the most advanced stage of HIV infection. Without treatment, HIV can lead to AIDS, which can be fatal. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacterial infection caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It primarily affects the lungs, but can also affect other parts of the body. TB spreads through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Symptoms include coughing, chest pain, fever, and weight loss. Without treatment, TB can be fatal. Malaria. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease caused by parasites of the Plasmodium genus. It is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Symptoms include fever, chills, and flu-like illness. In severe cases, malaria can lead to organ failure and death, especially if left untreated. Influenza. Influenza is a highly contagious viral infection that affects the respiratory system. It spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, and fatigue. While most people recover from the flu, it can lead to severe complications and death, especially in high-risk groups. Hepatitis B and C Hepatitis B and C are viral infections that affect the liver. Hepatitis B is transmitted through contact with infected blood or body fluids, while Hepatitis C is primarily spread through blood-to-blood -blood contact. Both viruses can cause acute and chronic liver disease, including cirrhosis and liver cancer. Chronic Hepatitis B and C infections can be life-threatening if not treated. Pneumonia Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Symptoms include cough, fever, difficulty breathing, and chest pain. Pneumonia can range from mild to severe and can be life-threatening, especially in young children, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems. Sepsis Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's response to an infection causes inflammation throughout the body. It can lead to organ failure and death if not treated promptly. Symptoms of sepsis include fever, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, confusion, and extreme weakness. Dengue fever. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne viral infection common in tropical and subtropical regions. Symptoms include high fever, severe headache, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, rash, and mild bleeding. In severe cases, dengue fever can lead to dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, which can be fatal. Cholera. Cholera is a bacterial infection caused by ingesting contaminated food or water with the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. It causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. Without prompt treatment, cholera can be fatal within hours. Cholera outbreaks often occur in areas with inadequate sanitation and hygiene practices. Ebola virus disease. Ebola is a rare but severe and often deadly illness caused by infection with the Ebola virus. It is transmitted to humans from wild animals and spreads through human-to-human -human contact. Symptoms include fever, severe headache, muscle pain, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, and in some cases, internal and external bleeding. Zika virus infection. Zika virus is primarily transmitted through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes. It can also be transmitted through sexual contact and from mother to child during pregnancy. Most people infected with Zika virus do not develop symptoms, but it can cause birth defects in babies born to infected mothers and neurological complications in adults. Yellow fever. Yellow fever is a viral hemorrhagic fever transmitted by infected mosquitoes primarily in tropical areas of Africa and South America. Symptoms include fever, headache, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice. In severe cases, yellow fever can cause liver damage, kidney failure, and death. Rabies. Rabies is a viral infection that affects the central nervous system. It is usually transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected animal, most commonly dogs. Symptoms include fever, headache, muscle weakness, confusion, and paralysis. Rabies is almost always fatal once symptoms appear, but it can be prevented through vaccination after exposure. Typhoid fever. 
Typhoid fever is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi bacteria. It is transmitted through contaminated food or water. Symptoms include sustained high fever, headache, stomach pain, constipation or diarrhea, and rose-colored spots on the skin. Without treatment, typhoid fever can lead to serious complications and death. Measles. Measles is a highly contagious viral infection that spreads through respiratory droplets. Symptoms include high fever, cough, runny nose, red and watery eyes, and a characteristic rash. Complications of measles can include pneumonia, encephalitis, and death, particularly in young children and people with weakened immune systems. Meningitis. Meningitis is inflammation of the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. Symptoms include sudden onset of fever, headache, stiff neck, nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, and confusion. Bacterial meningitis can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Whooping cough. Whooping cough is a highly contagious bacterial infection caused by Bordetella pertussis. It is characterized by severe coughing fits, followed by a whooping sound when the person breathes in. Symptoms also include runny nose, sneezing, and mild fever. Whooping cough can be serious, especially in infants. Shigellosis. Shigellosis is an infectious disease caused by bacteria of the Shigella genus. It is transmitted through contaminated food or water or by person-to-person -person contact. Symptoms include diarrhea, fever, stomach cramps, and vomiting. In severe cases, shigellosis can lead to dehydration and other complications. Leprosy. Leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is a chronic infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium leprae. It primarily affects the skin, peripheral nerves, and mucous membranes of the upper respiratory tract. Symptoms include skin lesions, numbness, and muscle weakness. Leprosy can cause deformities and disabilities if left untreated. Syphilis. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. It progresses through stages, with symptoms varying depending on the stage. Primary syphilis is characterized by a painless sore, chancer, at the site of infection. Without treatment, syphilis can progress to more serious stages, affecting the heart, brain, and other organs. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhea. It can infect the genitals, rectum, and throat. Symptoms include painful urination, discharge from the genitals, and genital itching. If left untreated, gonorrhea can lead to serious complications, including infertility and increased risk of HIV transmission. Chlamydia. Chlamydia is a common sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Chlamydia trachomatis. Many people with chlamydia have no symptoms, but it can cause urethritis, cervicitis, and pelvic inflammatory disease. Untreated chlamydia can lead to serious complications, including infertility and increased risk of HIV transmission. MRSA. MRSA is a type of staph bacteria that is resistant to several antibiotics, including methicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics. It can cause infections ranging from skin infections to severe bloodstream infections. MRSA infections are difficult to treat and can be life-threatening, especially in healthcare settings. C. Difficile infection. Clostridioids. Difficile infection is a bacterial infection that causes inflammation of the colon, often after the use of antibiotics, disrupts the normal balance of bacteria in the intestines. Symptoms include diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, and nausea. Severe cases can lead to life-threatening complications like toxic megacolon. Leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is a bacterial infection caused by Leptospira bacteria, which are commonly spread through the urine of infected animals, especially rodents. It can be transmitted to humans through contact with contaminated water or soil. Symptoms include fever, headache, muscle aches, jaundice, and in severe cases, organ failure. Anthrax. Anthrax is a serious infectious disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. It can occur in three forms, cutaneous, inhalation, and gastrointestinal. Anthrax spores can remain dormant in the environment for years and can infect humans and animals. Symptoms depend on the form of anthrax, but can include skin lesions, fever, cough, and gastrointestinal symptoms. 
Inhalation anthrax can be deadly if not treated promptly. Tetanus. Tetanus is a bacterial infection caused by Clostridium tetani bacteria, which are commonly found in soil, dust, and animal feces. It enters the body through breaks in the skin, such as wounds or puncture injuries. Tetanus produces toxins that affect the nervous system, causing muscle stiffness and spasms, particularly in the jaw. Without treatment, tetanus can lead to severe complications and death. Salmonella infection. Salmonella infection is caused by bacteria of the Salmonella genus, commonly found in contaminated food, water, or surfaces. It can cause gastrointestinal illness, characterized by diarrhea, abdominal cramps, fever, and vomiting. In severe cases, Salmonella infection can lead to dehydration and bloodstream infections. Campylobacteriosis. Campylobacteriosis is a bacterial infection caused by Campylobacter jejuni bacteria, commonly found in contaminated food, especially poultry. Symptoms include diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, and nausea. Most cases of campylobacteriosis are self-limiting, but severe cases may require antibiotics. Cryptosporidiosis. Cryptosporidiosis is a parasitic infection caused by the cryptosporidium parasite, which is found in contaminated water, food, or surfaces. It can cause gastrointestinal illness characterized by watery diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, and vomiting. Cryptosporidiosis is particularly dangerous for people with weakened immune systems. Toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is a parasitic infection caused by the Toxoplasma gondii parasite, commonly found in cat feces and contaminated soil or water. Most people with toxoplasmosis have no symptoms or mild flu-like symptoms. However, it can cause severe complications in pregnant women and people with weakened immune systems, leading to brain and eye damage. Histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis is a fungal infection caused by inhaling the spores of the fungus Histoplasma capsulatum, commonly found in soil contaminated with bird or bat droppings. Most people with histoplasmosis have no symptoms or mild flu-like symptoms. In severe cases, it can cause pneumonia and spread to other organs. Aspergillosis. Aspergillosis is a fungal infection caused by inhaling the spores of the aspergillus fungus, commonly found in soil, compost, and decaying vegetation. It can cause allergic reactions, lung infections, and invasive infections in people with weakened immune systems. Symptoms vary depending on the type and severity of the infection. Candidiasis. Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by candida yeast, which commonly affects the skin, mouth, throat, and genital area. Symptoms depend on the location of the infection, but can include redness, itching, rash, and white patches in the mouth or throat. Invasive candidiasis can occur in people with weakened immune systems and can be life-threatening. Invasive aspergillosis. Invasive aspergillosis is a severe fungal infection caused by the aspergillus fungus, primarily affecting people with weakened immune systems, such as those undergoing chemotherapy or organ transplantation. It can cause pneumonia, lung abscesses, and spread to other organs. Invasive aspergillosis is often fatal if not treated promptly with antifungal medications. Understanding these infections is crucial for effective prevention, diagnosis, and management, highlighting the importance of public health measures, vaccination, sanitation practices, and timely medical intervention in combating these deadly diseases. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time!